what is up guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about why i do not like the dmr in fortnite zero build and why i pretty much never use it if you guys do enjoy using the dmr and you have fun using it and it works for you that's fine keep using it but this video is gonna be about why i don't like it because i get asked this a decent amount on stream and i would rather just have this video to link back to rather than going into this like explanation every single time so the main advantages of the dmr is going to be its high damage and its disadvantages are going to be its fire rate and its ease of use because the dmr is a projectile weapon which means all of the bullets have travel time whereas something like the aug which is what we're going to be comparing it to in this video the aug is hit scan so the moment you shoot the gun the damage is like immediately applied to the player and there's no bullet drop or bullet travel time and that is that makes the aug significantly easier to use just because it's like way more consistent you point and shoot whereas like the dmr you have to actually like think about what you're doing and it, it just takes much more effort and there is a bug in the game where projectile weapons sometimes don't register shots so i'm sure if you use the dmr a lot you've been in this situation where you shoot at people and the bullets just don't register even though you're clearly hitting them and even if you don't use the dmr you've probably seen situations where somebody is shooting you with it and it's very clearly hitting you but you're just not taking damage so that is a bug with the projectile weapons in fortnite in addition to them just being more inconvenient to use the damage actually isn't that different like the the dmr has perceived higher damage and like per bullet it does higher damage but since the aug shoots two bullets per burst the damage is actually somewhat comparable so i'm going to be comparing the blue version of the weapons just because that's like kind of the middle rarity you know the blue version of the dmr hits for 50 to the body and 83 to the head while the blue AUG hits for 30 to the body and 45 to the head. But since the AUG shoots two bullets, you're doing 60 damage per burst to the body and 90 damage per burst to the head. And it's like pretty easy to hit both bullets per burst. When you're getting headshots, you might end up hitting one to the body and one to the head. But even that would be like 75 damage, which is roughly comparable to what the DMR is. So for like, if you compare one DMR bullet, to one aug burst the augs damage is actually slightly higher if you hit both bullets and i feel like more often than not if you hit the person you're gonna end up hitting both bullets so technically the dmr really doesn't actually do that much more damage it just seems like it because per bullet it does um but the fire rate and the easy use of the aug is much higher since the aug is hit scan it's much easier to use and much more just reliable to use you just point and shoot super easy it is a higher fire rate so you can get out shots faster and the penalty for missing is much lower since like the aug shoots faster if you end up missing a burst then it's not as big of a deal whereas if you miss with a dmr that can just be the deciding factor in the fight because it does shoot so much slower than any of the other assault rifle weapons so the aug is easier to use it's comparable or better on damage depending on how you look at it has a higher fire rate and the hit scan weapons are also much better at hitting players using mobility and that's really common in zero builds mobility is super important in zero builds and pretty much every character every player is carrying some sort of mobility whether it's shock waves a grapple glove a car an animal or a rift to go some odds are you're going to encounter a decent amount of people using mobility in zero builds and if you fry somebody and then they try to shockwave away, it's not the end of the world. You can shoot them out of the air. Whereas with the DMR, not only is the fire rate much lower, so you're going to get less shots to shoot at people. The mag size is lower. So if you've already been in a fight with them and they try to run away, odds are you're going to have to reload sooner. And it has a slower reload. But also compensating for that bullet drop and the bullet travel time while somebody's shockwaving, grappling away, using a rift to go driving the other direction in a car using an animal just makes it that much harder to hit the shots and like i've already said the benefit really is non-existent like there's that perceived higher damage but it really isn't that much higher or higher at all depending on how you look at it so for now it just seems like the dmr has more downsides and not really much of an upside the upside really isn't that big of a deal um i made this chart here and this is not like perfectly set in stone this is just kind of meant to be a visual aid of how i view the effective ranges of the weapons the red line is going to be the combat ar the blue line is going to be the aug and the green line is going to be the dmr and as you see the combat ar is really good like up close range and up to medium range the aug kind of overlaps with it but continues out a little higher and then the dmr does pick up at the end and it has maybe a little bit more range than the AUG, and it is better at range than the AUG, kind of, at very far range. Because of the recent nerfs they've done to the AUG with the damage drop-off at range, 
if you're ridiculously far away, you're probably better off using the DMR, but it's going to be harder to use because of that bullet drop and the bullet travel time. So I, I, even though the AUG is weaker at range, I would still rather have the AUG. And this chart was mainly just meant to show that like the DMR is very one dimensional in what it's good at. At a very long range, it's good. But if you have to fight in like more medium range, which is going to be where most of your fights take place, then the DMR is worse than the AUG and it's worse than the combat AR. The only real time it has an advantage is really long range and those fights don't happen as frequently and usually you can kind of opt into them. You know, if somebody's 150 meters away, it's usually pretty easy to get away from them and just like dip out using cover or any of your mobility items. So it's more one dimensional. It's not as versatile and that really matters because there is so much effective like usable mo mobility or like utility in the game right now. There's rift to shockwaves, grapple gloves, port of forts, boogie bombs. And then heals as well. There's so many good items to be carrying that aren't weapons. So a lot of people have been going for a two weapon loadout. My favorite loadout recently has been the AUG, the auto shoddy, boogie bombs, shockwaves, and chug splashes. Whereas using the DMR and the auto shoddy, which I did do in these gameplays, it's just awkward because the DMR isn't as good at medium range as the AUG or the combat air. You know, if you're fighting somebody 40 meters away or 30 meters away, the AUG player, the combat AR player is going to destroy you and the auto shoddy isn't good at that range. So odds are if you're using something like the DMR, you're probably going to want to carry another weapon for medium range using something maybe like combat AR, DMR and auto shoddy or whatever shotgun you want to use. But like it, it's kind of best to combo the DMR with another assault rifle to fill the medium range gap. So you're having to use two weapons to do just what the AUG could do on its own. And that is pretty detrimental for your loadout because there's so many really good utility items to carry. Like I just listed off like port of forts Boogie Bomb, Shockwaves. All of those items are, are really big game changers in zero build. So yeah, th that's just why I don't really care for the DMR. I feel like it's very one dimensional and it's upside pretty much is non-existent when you look at the fact that the AUG shoots two damage or two bullets per trigger pull. So you're basically doing the same amount of damage, if not more. Another thing is that I, I really don't see any like really good players using the DMR. Like streamers that I know or content creators that I know, they might use the DMR for a one-off video, but it's not what they prefer using. Everybody I know who's really good at this game prefers the AUG. And when you look at zero build tournaments, like recently I watched the Nick 830 tournament that took place this week and Twitch Rivals because I had a friend playing in them in both those tournaments, I didn't see anybody using the DMR. And these are all very high skilled players all playing the game, who play the game a bunch, and none of them chose to use the DMR. The AUG was the most popular assault rifle chosen. So, yeah, I, I feel like the DMR is just really one-dimensional, dimen and it's kind of like a trap weapon for people, I, I feel like, who don't really look at the whole picture of everything. They just see the damage, and they're like, oh, this one must be better. And I, I feel like a lot of the people who like the DMR also kind of ignore the fact that it's more inconvenient to use and they're like oh if you're good with it or if you're a good player you can you can compensate for that and you can but if a weapon is more inconvenient to use it has to be so much better to make it viable you know it has to be far and away better than the other choices that way if you do get good at dealing with that downside then you have a really good weapon i would say the combat ar is like that the combat ar has a good amount of recoil but when you are good at compensating for that recoil you have a really nasty weapon whereas like when you are good at compensating for the DMR's bullet drop and you really get that timing well, it's really just maybe slightly better than the AUG sometimes, but most of the time the AUG is still going to be better. So it's just like the high-end ceiling of it I don't think is that good. The consistency of it isn't as good. The floor is really low. I just feel like the AUG is a much easier to use weapon, much more consistent weapon, and the better weapon for most fights. So... That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found it informative or helpful. If you did, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below what you think of this. Like I already said, if you like the DMR and you have fun using it, that's fine. Keep using it. But this is just my thoughts on the DMR and why I don't use the weapon. Thanks for watching.